Hi friends, it's time for another video and today I wanted to talk about Plotter. Um, I'm sure you have probably heard a lot about the brand as it's become really popular these last like um, few months. I think if I'm not mistaken, did it launch last year in September? So it's been a year in the US. So I'm gonna start with the packaging. Um, I hope can we see can we see this okay I think so <laughs> um so this is the box it came with I love the color um and actually the plotter team sent me a lot of um accessories and a lot of the different uh, refills uh for the the plotter so one of the things that I really really enjoy about the system is their um refill pads because you can have um, several different formats. Like, for example, I have here two millimeter grid, uh, a to-do list pad, and then a plain pad. And um, one awesome thing about it is that it's already pre-perforated and the, the, the pages are glued to the spine but they're very easy to um, detach. So I think you can see here, um, I've already taken quite a few pages. I don't think I use the plane as much just because um, I like to have just a little bit of a guide to write. And so I still have a bunch of that. But one cool thing is that you can just, you know, if, if you're not, um, uh set on investing into the plotter system you can just buy the refill pads or yeah the refill pads and try those out first and then once you get your plotter you can then put those uh, pages in your plotter so uh that's basically let me see what is there anything else in here i think i can show you the rest of the accessories once i open the uh the plotter so so this is the A5 size, and this is a Licio. Is that if, I, if I'm not mistaken, that's how you say Licio leather? It smells amazing, first of all. Um, and I love this bar here, it's just iconic to the brand, it's beautiful, and it's rose gold, so that's pretty cool. Um, you let me see. Um, one of the things to note is that this band comes separately i'll show you here in a minute as as does this um pen holder so and i have an extra item in here that's not from plotter it's actually a uh, maruman nemocine um diary if i'm not mistaken i'll check it out here in a minute with you guys but this is how i use my plotter all righty i'm gonna show this um in a bit uh so i'll put that aside for now but yeah it's the diary in the year 2022 so uh this is an accessory this is an add-on um i forget what it's called but it's like just you know once when you're checking out on the website just go ahead and add it add it to your card because these rings if you don't have it um it will show some marks here which is not bad you know um but if you want to just protect your your leather a little bit more you can still feel it um you can still feel the rings but there's no uh, quite visible marks of the rings so this is this piece that's what that will do it'll just protect your cover um okay so this is one of the, the items that I was mentioning that it's an add-on. And this is a lifter with band. And um, I guess, you know, it it's apart from it being just a, like a, what is it? Like a vinyl or a plastic um, separator. It's also aesthetically uh, pleasing. This has a map of um, the world. And what's on this side? Uh, measurements. But the important thing about it is, is that this is a lifter with the band. So this is what will allow you to um, close your plotter. And again, that's an add-on. 
but I think that's a very um, useful add-on if you want to keep your plotter uh, closed and shut and sealed and just, you know, looking really pretty because it really does look pretty. Um, so that's that. So this is the lifter with pen holder. Um, and again, this is a beautiful um, piece as well because of the the lettering, the writing, the cursive. Um, and I guess these are different fonts. So yeah, and actually what I realized is that this pen holder is uh, pretty slim, but I'm, I guess that with time, it could stretch out a little bit more. But right now I have a um, dry erase marker and then I'm able to clip a pen or a pencil outside of it, which I really don't mind at all because actually if you put in like a bulky pen in here, then um, your plotter will start doing this. Like start up like, you know, it won't be uh, nice and flat. It'll just open up a little bit. So I don't mind that at all. And this is pretty secure. This little pencil isn't going anywhere. Um, so yeah, it's pretty handy. And then I guess while I'm here, <laughs> I guess um, I'm going to show you why I have this dry erase marker. And it's because I have this other accessory, which is the dry erase board. And isn't that just like genius it's pre-perforated it's the perfect size by the way i don't know who wrote this but if whoever's watching this thank you i took it to several different places so i really don't know who who wrote that but it's nice i had um a drawing of like a workstation because i work in like office furniture world and for me this was pretty handy because i'm able to just let me see if i can whip out a drawing really quick um so let's say I wanted to show somebody like, oh, maybe you want to do a desk. Um, let me see, where would that be? So, oh yeah, it wouldn't show. That wouldn't show. Uh, oh, that chair looks awful. <laughs> but anyway, if you know, let's say I'm in front of a client and whatever. Uh, then I'm able to just like whip out a little drawing really quick so that they can see and visualize and whatever and It's just so handy and then I can take this back to my desk or whatever um, And draw and so this is um, isometric grid which again is very very helpful because you can just draw uh, all these geometric shapes in 3d and I think that's wonderful. I'm not trying to be like precise. I'm just drawing like in the air. So forgive me. But you get the idea. Um, if you think you will use something like this, I would highly suggest you add this onto your cart as well. Because it's pretty handy. And then um, I forget if this is an extra or if it will come with the, um, with the white erase um accessory so oh and i didn't show you the other end so this is a dual end pen or um dry erase marker and the other side has this orange color so again if you want to call out any dimensions like let's see oh i guess i'm drawing a little dry a b c and you know just list out dimension a will be 72 inches b will be 30 inches c will be 29 things like that i guess my little marker is going dry now uh, but you get the idea and i love that it already comes in those two colors and it's pretty slim um so it's easy to carry um super super fun accessory so let's put that away and then let's get into one of my favorite aspects of the plotter which is the project managers so i have here one two three four project managers and um i love how organized this is um i have a project manager for my work one for my stationery shop it used to be for my podcast but now i'm using it for my stationery shop 
uh, I use this for my um, uh, notes for my personal stationary uh, videos or whatever I need to do. And this was a make-believe project that I used. And uh, if you go to my Instagram, I think I still have this up. I try to do a live showing people how to use a plotter. And at that point, I wasn't able to show a lot of what I had done. So I came up with this idea of a, like, say, an interior designer, somebody like me, um, doing a project, you know, in a very analog way. So I, I this is a to-do list page, and I'll go through it here in a minute. Um, but I have the title of the project and then the several tasks I need to complete. And then on the back of it, I just glued some like insp quick inspirational, inspirational images. Uh, and, okay, in another page, I created this like just blank uh, floor plan. And I taped it onto the, the back of the, um, project manager and then I created these um with trash paper this is called trash paper or yeah I think that's what we called it uh different floor plan layouts that I was able to fl flip through and show let's say I'm in front of my client I can be like oh well you can do these two chairs and whatever and I have three different layouts prepared uh so then my idea was to then after showing them one, I could flip up, flip this over, flip down again, and then show the second option. If I can get it to line up. Yeah, so you know, there's a second option. And again, let's go check out a third option. So this is our third option, you know? So I thought that was great, you know, there's... Um, like carrying all of this technology around with us, even though an iPad can be easy to carry around or a small laptop, maybe all you have is your plotter, you know, and you have your project notes, you have your inspiration, you have your little plan drawn out, and that could help you. And then these project managers, how genius are they? That they're already, you know, of course they would be prepared for it. They are ready to just, go and put in and you can keep all of your project within that project manager i just when april was telling me about it i'm like oh i'm just you know blown away but by, by the genius uh behind the system because it really is like something that just makes sense and it, it like you wonder where has this been all your life <laughs> and this is my work my work project manager and you wouldn't believe it how helpful it was for me but i'm just gonna go ahead and put all of these pages and this is considering like all that i've done like this is actually pretty full of notes so here let's walk through these so this is the um this page you see um these four boxes with a final uh check mark box right there these are the the these are the to do pages and i really love this and i'm glad i found a way for them to work for me because for all of my projects i have the exact same like seven to eight tasks i need to do for each one so and let me flip to a more uh like a more recent project okay let's switch these two like these pages you can see like the same amount of uh of boxes and so what i do is i label the project i put the due date um and let's say one you know i, I put them in as the projects come in uh, there's no like, okay, this has to be here. This has to be there. No, like as the projects come in, that's how I put um, the things in my to-do list. Due date. And then for each one, I write um, what I need to do. So you'll see the same things. RFIs, list numbers, specials, specifications, quote, dimension plans, renderings, product notes, clarifications. So all of them 
have the same things because I need to do the exact same things for all of them. But each project is unique, has its own unique um, demands and specifications. So of course, each one is different. Um, so one thing that has helped me is to create a little calendar um, and sticky note or on sticky notes and just put that on my pages. And because sometimes some of these deadlines are pretty close to each other, like you can see here, like all of these circles are deadlines. Like I need to have something done that Wednesday. I need to have something due Thursday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday again. So as I'm going each day, I check off like the the date. And then let's say I'm let's say these four projects are going on at the same time. And by the process of like checking off some boxes, I can see how far along I am in my project. And if let's say this project is, you know, almost full, almost completed, but then this one is like halfway completed and this one is due maybe before that one, then I need to jump back to this one and, you know, get cranking and working on that. So visually, this helps me a lot. But anyway, this was my last project. As you can see, the color coding has also helped the the main color. That's the, the color of the project. And then all these other colors are the individual tasks. So then again, visually, I can see right away how far along I am. Um, and I don't check off that last box until I am done with my last items. So this has helped me tremendously. Um, if you have projects and you want to keep track of your progress, I highly suggest the to do pages. Um, this one, if I'm not mistaken, this one had a crazy deadline of like, I don't know, like a few days. So I didn't even have time to like, okay, I'm done. It was just like, go, 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 go. Like get one thing done and just go. I didn't even have time to breathe. Uh, this one was canceled or something, or actually, no, it wasn't. I just, I tried to do a different like filling, but I, I found that the hatching, um, the visually block of color just helps me more. So I love these sticky notes. To me, it just helps a lot and adds color to the pages. So I don't mind it at all. Um, I should get rid of these pages now because it's are old projects. I'm never gonna like look back at that, but it, they just look nice. Uh, and these pages, I think these are the two millimeter grid pages. Um, I just use whatever. These could be plain pages. I put the title of the project and then the date and I make notes of that project. So then I've had instances where people like, I'm like, here working on this project but then people call me like oh what do we do in that one project and whatever and i'm able to look in my notes again and i just kind of know where they are and i look at the title and I'm like oh well we did this and that's how many uh, people or whatever we counted so yeah keeping this has been um very very helpful and a blessing so i think the to-do pages and then anything extra uh, would be beneficial to your project manager. Um, there are other um, uh, refills I would like to try, like the drawing one, or there's one that even for the A5, it like folds out and you have this blank uh, canvas basically. Um, but for the work that I do right now, I probably don't need it. Uh, it's just something that I want to try. But yeah, this is how I use my plotter. Um, although it may be a little bit of an expensive system, it's so worth it. I use mine every day. Um, I still work from home most of the time and I still use it even at home. And you can see that I use it for like three different um, aspects of my life, work, um, stationery, and my shop. So yeah. It has been very handy and I, honestly, it saved my life uh, when I got it because I had so many projects going on at the same time and I was going pretty crazy. So yeah, this is my plotter. Again, it's the A5 uh, and I apologize. I forgot the color, 
of this one, but I'm sure you can find it on the website, plotterusa.com, if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, there are other sh um, sizes as well. As I know there's like a mini, a Bible size, which I think is like, it cuts right here or so. Uh, but for me, I think the A5 works really well. Plus it's not like an awkward shape. And if I'm not mistaken, the A5 has a lot of the accessories. So like the marker board and um, like the drawing pages, if I'm not mistaken, I think those only fit the A5. So anyway, friends, um, let me know what you think of the plotter. Is that something you can see yourself using or something that could potentially fit in your system? Um, I firmly believe in the system and you know if you have any questions on how to use it or any other ideas on how it could be used let me know i'm happy to help um i want everyone to enjoy platter because it's again i think it's genius so anyway thank you friends thank you for watching this video talk to you later bye bye